So there are just a couple more things that we have to do before we can really call these ears controlled. First is that I've got this one hierarchy for the root and the body, and unfortunately that means that the ear controls get left behind when I move the root. Not ideal. So I'm going to take the left ear base group and make it a child of the root control because again we always want to go group, curve, group, curve, group, curve, group. I will do the same thing with the right ear base group. I will make it a child of the root control curve. So now everybody is together, we are one big happy family and we all move together and it's really easy to reset everybody. These four curves only function as rotation points. When I translate them, nothing happens. When I scale them, nothing happens. As such, I don't need those channels visible, so I'm going to take Scale, then hold down my, ooh, sorry, I'm going to take Translate, then hold down my Control key and select Scale and Visibility. That leaves me with only Rotate available. I am going to right click and lock and hide selected. So now all four of these curves will only allow my animator to rotate, they can't be moved out of position, nothing bad will happen to them. I am pretty happy with that. So that takes care of my ear curves and my body curves and all I've got left is the tail. So in the next video we will have some fun with that.